Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for joining me. So today's video, we have another Geek Gear unboxing for you. This is October's Geek Gear box. And once again, I'm just gonna get straight into it, guys. Okay, so like I said, Geek Gear's October box. I'm gonna open it up and give you guys a sneak peek. If I don't poke myself in the eye. Ooh, I'm seeing green on top for the t-shirt. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so the t-shirt this month, Oh, it's clearly a Slytherin kind of style themed t-shirt, or it might be a basilisk actually. Oh, I think it's actually, it's the basilisk. That's kind of better then. I mean, it's still very Slytherin looking. Obviously we've got the snake and right down here, if you can see, we've got Tom Riddle's diary and the basilisk fang stabbing through the book. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I do like it. It's not something I would choose if I was to go shopping and see it in a shop somewhere because I am neither a Slytherin nor into the sort of more darker edgier side of the wizarding world but it's not a bad t-shirt design as far as t-shirt designs go it's just not my specific cup of tea but will i wear it probably to bed yes i will <laughs> okay so next in the box i'm seeing oh my gosh have we got another wand this week by the looks of it yeah look we've got another wand i didn't know we were getting a wand this time i'm gonna save it to the end because i always save the wands um and i'm very intrigued by this okay we have a wizardry tea tin. I'm very intrigued. What is this? Is it going to be house related? Because the look of it, it looks like you've got Ravenclaw colours, but it could just be the packaging. God. Okay, let's pull this out and have a little look. Okay. So it says, I solemnly swear that I love my tea. It's not technically true for myself. Obviously, it's got the Marauders map kind of style going all the way around the lid. The lid itself has got the footprints and the I solemnly swear. Yep, it's just a standard tin pot for your tea. I suppose because a lot of people have been saying about these teas um, that we haven't really got anything to store them in. But I suppose this is kind of a uh, nice novelty tin to place your tea in. I'm not the biggest fans of the teas um, in general, to be honest. So it's probably not the best product for me because I'm just not into that, like into the teas that much. So, but nonetheless, it's a cool item. If obviously you are definitely into these teas, then it's something that's gonna be very helpful and, and good for you. The Wiggly Worms this time are very um, multicolored. We've instead of having just the standard cardboard colored ones, we've kind of got darker brown and black Wiggly Worms this time. It's very novel. I'm seeing a small print. Let's have a look at what this is. It's a license exclusive. Okay, what is this? Okay, so it's a Court by the Ministry of Magic Lucius Malfoy poster. Uh, it says, Constant Vigilance, Death Eaters are among us. Remember, negligence costs lives. If you have any information concerning Death Eaters, please contact your nearest aura office. And there's offering a reward at the bottom as well. So again, that's kind of cool. It's not something that I personally would put up. Again, I'm not really into the whole sort of Slytherin, uh, dark arts, Death Eater kind of side of the Harry Potter world. But it is, again, cool item for someone that is into more of those kind of things. Um, just personal preference, it's just not for me. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing looks like a teacup, which is very cute and duddy. It says, Amortentia Love Potion, Hogwarts Apothecary Department. And it's got a very, very nice almost like a cracked china kind of style to it. I don't know if you can see it very much on my camera. And then you've got the pink inside and the pink all around it. Excuse my toddler in the background. It's very sweet. It's probably not something I would buy myself personally if I was in a shop, but it is very, very duddy and very cute. And it probably would go very nicely with all my other little mugs as well. We've come to that time again where we have the little scratch card. I never ever win. And this one, I no doubt will be the same. Yeah, no win. Never mind. Okay, the tea for this month is Basilisk Tea. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Um, so it says Basilisk Blood Tea, Wild Cherries. It's a black tea and it's got a little basilisk, basilisk, little basilisk fang on the cup as well. I um, wonder what this one smells like. Oh, okay. That's very strong. <laughs> It's very dark tea. I don't know if you can see that. 
very dark tea. It does smell quite strong. It's not one that I probably would end up drinking myself. Um, it's just one of those ones that, yeah. I'm not a fan of these teas, I can't lie. Okay, so just before we do the wand, I'm gonna get the print out of the bottom. Oh, okay. I think we actually had a hint this month for the Goblet of Fire. And this is what we got. I'm very disappointed with that, I've gotta be honest. I mean, it's the Goblet of Fire with the words Goblet of Fire written on it. And in the background, you can just about make out um, this says uh, Fleur, Cedric, Harry Potter, Victor Crumb, Cedric Diggory. It kind of just repeats all their names in the background. I don't know if you can see that. The glare is terrible. And then you've got like a little piece of parchment with Harry Potter's name right here. Um, I mean, it's not the best print anyway. I mean, some of these prints I absolutely love. Some of them are really not for me. This is a not for me print. This is not something that I would put up on my walls. Um, and as far as a Goblet of Fire themed item goes, there is so much more they could have done with that. I mean, we could have had a replica of the Goblet of Fire itself. We could have had replicas of the pieces of parchment that come out of them. There could have been anything to do with any of the actual three tasks themselves. I mean, I know we've already had like the little egg um, from the, the first task leading into the second task, um, you know, but there's, there's so much more they could have done than just a really bog standard print. This one is something that is, is definitely not gonna go up on my wall. It's not one that I'm a fan of, unfortunately. So that's a little bit disappointing, but nonetheless, we have one item left, which is the wand. I'm gonna go ahead and have a little look at that now. Ooh, okay. This is intriguing. Is it a dragon? This could be a dragon. I mean, he, it's a cool wand. The dragon, I think because he's, he's like that, you know what I mean? Like that wasn't attractive, but <laughs> that's kind of how his head has, has had to have been for the wand itself. I mean, I don't not like it. It's quite cool. Um, and the fact that I'm Welsh as well, dragons hold a special place in my heart. So it's kind of like Welsh dragon-y. So that's kind of cool in that sense. Um, but yeah, I think just like the, the, the head of the dragon is just a little bit bizarre because of the positioning of it, I suppose. But nonetheless, it is a cool wand. It will be one that I will keep in my collection. I will um, definitely find a place to pop this and display it. Um, so yeah, I think we better go through the cheat sheet. Okay, so the cheat sheet, uh, October 2019's exclusive Basilisk t-shirt, licensed and exclusive Goblet of Fire print, the Unique Ones exclusive Draco wand. Ooh. I've just found the little card thingy as well that comes with the wand. So it is the Draco wand, length 13 and a half inches, core dragon heartstring and wood type hawthorn. So that's a little card that goes with that. Uh, the exclusive tea tin, the licensed Amortensia mini mug, which is quite cute in fairness. I do like that little mug. Uh, licensed and exclusive Lucius Malfoy poster and the monthly tea, which is the Basilisk blood tea. So yeah, we have everything that we were promised. Uh, next month's hint is Professor McGonagall. So that'll be interesting to see what they do for her. I'm hoping it's not just a print because it's always really disappointing when they give you a really cool hint and you're like, oh yeah, what are they gonna do with that? And then you get a tea or then you get a print and you're like oh it's just you just wish sometimes with certain hints and with certain um ones that they give you that you are going to get a little bit more than just the tea or the prints you know it's, it's something that i think is always a bonus when we get a replica of something and when you say they're going to get something from the goblet of fire you automatically think you could get the triwizard cup replica like a little mini version would have been more than satisfactory for me a little miniature version of the goblet of fire itself would have been absolutely amazing anything to do with any of the three tasks would have been amazing but to get the print that we got is just a little bit like oh it's just a print you know what i mean so it is a little bit devastating when you get just a print for these great hints that they could do so much with that's the, that's the disappointing part all in all, it wasn't the best box that we've received. I wouldn't go as far as to say it was the worst. There were some really cute little items, like I said, like the mug. Uh, the t-shirt is kind of cool if you are into the more sort of darker art side of Harry Potter. Um, but generally, yeah, this was not my favorite box, unfortunately. 
Um, I'm very excited for next month's box. Next month is going to be their festive edition, so I'm expecting a lot of Christmassy things. I hope we don't get another pair of socks. I think we've had enough socks a year for the moment anyway. Please do not put socks into this festive box because I have plenty of Ravenclaw socks for the moment. Thank you very much. And socks in general, I have plenty of socks. I don't need more socks. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping for some really lovely Christmas themed items. Very excited to see what we get. Okay, so favourites this month is probably going to have to be the little Amortentia mini mug. It is very sweet and will look really, really cute on my shelves. My next favourite item, I'm going to have to go with the Goblet of Fire print. I'm really disappointed with this one. I really think they could have done so much more with the Goblet of Fire other than the print. And the print itself isn't even all that great. I mean, it's the wrong kind of colours. Um, and yeah, it's just really plain and there's just no no thought or imagination that's gone into that so very disappointed in the print but there we have it that was october's geek gear wizardry box what did you guys think what kind of items were your favorites what were your least favorites did you get this box yourself how did you feel about it so pop a comment down below guys and i will reply to as many people as i can and yeah thank you so much again for watching bye